Welcome to the kicker. Now in this video, I was really thinking about putting this video first for you because in, in all honesty, if you have a great kick serve, it's gonna allow you to go for your flat serve or your slice serve and really have the confidence to know that you're gonna make your second serve with 99% uh, accuracy, okay? So in this video, what you're gonna learn is a progression that I've learned from so many great coaches over the years, I can't even begin to name them all, but it's a series of step-by-step -step processes that's really gonna help you build this serve either from scratch if you've never hit a kick serve, or if you already know how to hit a kick serve, you're gonna learn a few things that's gonna allow you to kick the ball even higher, even more out of your opponent's strike zone, okay? So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Many a pro player can hit the kick serve from virtually the same toss as their flat or slice serve, but we're gonna make it a little easier, a little simpler, and let the toss land more in line with the top of your head slightly forward into the court. You'll notice it's not comfortable to hit a flat serve from this position, but your racket will naturally want to hit up on the ball, as we'll talk about in just a minute. So as you get comfortable hitting it from here, you can experiment with getting your toss closer to where you toss the ball for your flat and slice serve, if you want, if you're into the whole disguise thing. But let's keep it simple for now and get that toss in line with your head a little bit forward into the court. So your contact point is gonna be right on top of your head. And this is much different than the flat serve where we're really extending up into the contact. Here, we want the racket to have room to accelerate upward past the point of contact to produce the spin on the ball. So the first thing I want you to do is just grab a ball and place it right above your head here. And now take the racket and sandwich the ball between your non-hitting hand and your racket. And uh, just practice brushing or rolling the ball. In general, your racket is gonna be going anywhere from six to 12 o'clock for a true top spin serve, or seven to one, or even five to 11. All right, check. So we've got our contact point down now, and we know where we wanna make contact. Now let's take a look at the swing, and we'll begin with some shadow swings so you really get a feel of how the racket approaches the ball and how it finishes. A great way to visualize this is just imagine you're throwing your racket up and out at the ball. Kind of like you're gonna throw your racket over the side fence. As you do that, your arm will fall comfortably to your hitting arm side, just like this. So as you're doing this, visualize yourself hitting the ball because that's what we're gonna do next. If the kick serve is new to you, I really recommend spending some time with this one to really program your muscles to follow this swing path. All right, great job. Now you've got a feel for the swing, so let's get on our knees here. And I recommend a pillow or a towel or something to make it really cushy. And uh, we're gonna line up our knees to this 45 degree angle here. With a grip at the top of the handle in our more or less trophy position, continental grip, and I want you to toss the ball up so it's about to land on your head and then execute your swing, hitting up and out on the ball. The beauty of this drill is it really gets you thinking to hit up on the ball and create that top spin. You have to clear the net. And it's pretty much impossible to do this with a bad toss. So if you're having trouble keeping your balance in this drill, just go back and practice your toss so you can comfortably hit up and out on the ball like this. All right, next, go ahead and get on your feet and let's do the same thing. This time with a grip a little closer to the middle of the racket handle. We're still in that continental grip, still in that trophy position. And same thing here, toss it up in line with your head, slightly into the court with a nice and easy up and out swing. When you're building technique like we are here, just stay relaxed and focus on hitting up and out on the ball. And notice how the ball kind of arcs up like a rainbow. All right, next we're gonna go to the bottom of the grip, trophy position, continental grip, and we're gonna exaggerate the shape of the serve here. This drill really helps you feel and exaggerate the kick serve. So go ahead and grab the ball and try and hit it as high as you can in the air. You'll be able to bring the ball back down to earth, trust me. So you're shooting for 30 feet in the air here, don't worry. Uh, the birds will get out of the way and your ball will find the court. You want to get comfortable really going for this serve because at the end of the day, the faster your swing is, 
the more topspin you'll create when the shape of your swing is correct. And that's what pulls the ball back down into the court. Okay, great. Next, you can use the catch and release step like we did for the hammer. So go ahead, toss the ball as you bring your racket up into the trophy position. Leave your hitting arm in the trophy position, toss the ball again, and then go ahead and hit that kick serve. And finally, go ahead and hit your kick serve from the beginning of your motion. Now, as with all of these serves, I recommend focusing on just the mechanics first. Don't pay attention to where the ball's actually going, if it's clearing the net, if it's not clearing the net. That stuff will really sort itself out. Just focus on staying loose and fluid. And as the mechanics become second nature, we start talking about either producing more power and aiming the serve. Just have fun with this one. You know, my wife, um, when she was learning the kick serve, she was so concerned with the ball was going to go into the court or not that she, she actually lost uh, touch with the mechanics of the serve and it took her a lot longer so just focus on the process and uh, you'll be hitting that kick serve in no time and that is how you develop the kick serve incidentally um, the first time I learned this kick serve I was playing my friend Josh and Josh was really fast I mean he ran down every single ball and the first time I threw this kick serve at him it literally jumped over his racket and it was the coolest moment ever because it represented a shot that I knew now had in my arsenal that I could use against that drastic Josh and it'll do the same for you okay as with all of the other progressions just understand that what you're doing is you're building muscle memory okay so love the process trust the process go through each step in the progression and feel comfortable in that step before you go to the next one and you can't have enough quality repetitions with emphasis on the quality all right and with that let's go on to the next video and learn the slice serve really open up that court or jam your opponent whichever you like all right i'll see you in the next video